Hi, my name is Bisar Kakunaska and I'm here to present the Vero Io, our product. What we're trying to do is bring a psychologist directly to you that is directly to your arm. So, this is Julia, she's 36 years. She's a mid-level manager at a bank in Milan in Italy. She is a very hardworking young woman. She has success at work. She is all about healthy lifestyle. She takes care of what she eats, how much she sleeps. She is online, she buys online, and she is a fan of wearable gadgets. However, she lacks time, lacks time for her par partner, for her family. She is faced that she's struggling to achieve someone else's goals and someone else's objectives and needs. Her managers, her partner, her friends, her family. So, a burnout is inevitable. It happened to me, and it surely happened to many of you in the room. It happens to many of them out there. People have lost touch with their inner self. If only Julia had something to trigger, something to remind her to calm down the monkey mind, to listen to her thoughts, and to understand what makes her anxious and what makes her happy. So provoked by this problem, we have decided to help to come up with a solution and to help a person visibly understand the inner self. We would like to boost self-awareness. We would like to support self-expression. We would like to prevent burnout as much as possible as well as anxiety and depression. However, please note we are not a diagnostic tool, but we are a solution that offers self-regulation of our emotional reactions. Bottom line, we would like to combine pretty and useful and very important to fill in a gap in the fashion industry, which is lack of technology and then monetize out of it. So the Vero U is a smart jewel that helps dynamic career-oriented people to, who are already fans of wearable gadgets to achieve some life balance, to help them track, become aware, and share their emotions if they want to, to be unique, to outstand, when at the moment the competition only offers physical activity trackers, which is something we will not be. So our solution consists of an electronic module that records biophysiological uh, signals from the human body, our smart app, collects and at the same time analyzes data from how, much, from how we use our smartphone, how, what is our behavior, how we use the other apps on the phone. And to close it, it's our bracelet, which is a real, our jewel, a real piece of art, which changes color according to your mood. So it is interactive, it is adaptive, and if someone doesn't like the color for the day, one can change it according to the preference and liking. Just some screenshots of how our solution looks today. We have patented our solution and I encourage you to ask uh, questions after this presentation, so, uh, this presentation on this. So we have interviewed 74 people, out of them 70% were women and close to 60% were aged between 35 and 45. What they have confirmed to us and showed us that people do care about their emotions. People are very much inter interested in expressing themselves. Uh, obviously, outfit is dictated by the mood. Stress affects the relationships. Apparently, it is very important to match the accessories with the outfit. What they have also suggested for us is that we are to work on a unisex or a more male um, line of our product, which is we agree and we would do it. We have analyzed 11 competitors on the market. These are strictly smart bracelets. Most of them are physical activity trackers. Some of them are SOS alerting tools. None of them tackles emotions and none of them interprets emotional condition, which is the niche we feel is good for our business. We have acquired some industry reports and done a lot of reading and research so that we realize that our total addressable market is 1.5 million users. Our first target market is Italy, so our service addressable market is 34,000 users and our, our service obtainable market is 1,700 users for a period of one year. 
We have also acquired some other statistical reports that showed us that specifically in Italy, people buy mostly jewelry online before electronics, before home and garden, women's clothing, and out of the category jewelry, they mostly buy bracelets, which confirmed our decision to go with the bracelet. So our first target is 35 to 50 aged female and male, to whom we are to offer our premium line, but in order to target another target group, 25 to 35 aged female and male, we are going to release a more a basic line, which would be a more cost effective, more cheaper. It would have some limited functionalities. However, it would be made out of medical steel, which is stainless steel, but it's not a natural element and it costs less. Uh, we have partnerships in both software industry and fashion industry in Italy. Their network is our channel. Also stores in Italy and fashion fairs. We would have our own, own web store and other online marketplaces. We have done the math. We have calculated our costs, our revenue, and we are looking at a low but profitable first year. So we have gained some funding from the Fund of Innovation in Macedonia and we, it will get us to November this autumn, this year, when we will release our first prototype. And hopefully with the funding of Ukim Accelerator, we would get to next spring in April 2020, when we are to release our second prototype. We would again apply with the Fund of Innovation and with the Accelerator to enable us to realize our go-to-market strategy. And next year, in July 2020, to release the first market-ready version of the Vero EO. Our team consists of Igor Nikolovsky, who is our CEO. He is the strategic thinker and takes care of the company uh, operations. Professor Sasha Kutsuski, who is the patent author and the expert in artificial intelligence. We have Nico Ciambrione, who is our partner from Italy. He has many, many years of international experience and myself in charge for the business development. We are seeking 25K for our second prototype and we encourage you to ask us questions. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, even better. <laughs> now you're in the spotlight. <laughs> Only you. Yes. <laughs> Nothing distracting. Apparently. <laughs> um, you've mentioned you've developed partnerships with Italian retailers, right? Or stores or? No, our partnership is, are in two industries, software industry. Sorry, reselling uh, partnerships. For resale? No. No? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Uh, partnerships for software development and okay. fashion and design. Understood, that I must have misunderstood. But you've mentioned then one of your sales channels were yes, through yes, partnerships with, okay. Yes, uh, their network would be uh -huh. our channel to use. Uh -huh. yes, have you true. tried to develop some, have you extended, have you tried to make contacts with potential retail chains? Was there any traction in that or you haven't even tried to? At this stage, not yet, because uh -huh. we're struggling to get to our prototype, to understand that everything works well, to embed the electronics, to uh, get it to work with the smart app. but. Uh, it is in our uh, next, uh, the plan for our next phase. Uh, you mentioned second prototype. That means that there is a first prototype. Uh, yes. How does that work? Uh, at what stage are you of, uh, of prototyping? Uh, that was my question. <laughs> Wait, 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 we need the mic more than I think I'm, I'm loud enough. No, 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 I'm not going to so, uh, as you can see, it's pretty ugly. It's 3D printed, so our wives, our lovers, our girlfriends would not like it. So, we are asking a little bit of money to dress it, to vest it, and uh, to make it more appealing. So, that's... Uh, and the app is already developed, it yep. works with it? Yep. yep. Yeah, it connects it? Yeah, actually we tested it yesterday. Uh -huh. it Practical. Yeah, due to dehydration, it was, it was true. Oh, interesting. So it's Thank working. You. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Uh, maybe maybe I have missed that information. How much is it going to cost the product and the software if I want to buy some piece of I don't know jewelry? How much? No, is I it had to... many slides. I had to take out some. Okay. So, <laughs> so uh, the total cost to produce one piece, we have calculated it will be 135 euros per piece. Uh, it con this, this consists of the sensors, electronics, cost for acquiring a customer, so distribution, marketing, sales, and our weighted price for our basic line is around 180 euros. So we're looking at a margin of 25%, hopefully. Okay, so I, I suppose in your, I don't know, target of, of the customers of the niche market, you should focus on the clients that are really ready to pay, I don't know, pretty much amount yes. of money for the, the piece of, of jewelry. And plus maybe make us, as Darko mentioned, make some connections with some, I don't know, jewelry producer that produce, you know, those products that are with a little bit higher price because they, they, they can add it and they can find a, a clients who are, who are able to pay. And uh, I, in terms of the, um, a kind of technical question it, because it has to be connected I assume with specific parts of the body in order I don't know to make to I don't know to calculate the heartbeats or whatever I suppose there is a limited how to say spectrum of products that could be developed and these devices embedded maybe I don't know watches bracelets or something like that in terms of the contact of the the electronic device with the, the body. Yeah. So, did you think what kind of, of, of products you could make uh, or in what kind of, of type of jewelry the, the, your electronic device could be embedded? So, uh, we can do diversification there. It can be in the form of a ring, it can be in the form of a bracelet, or mm -hmm. it can be in the form of, uh, let's say, some, some necklace. So, there are three potential lines in which lines. it can be produced, yeah. Okay. Thank you.